Um, hi again. Um, we're at a job. Um, we're not on lockdown yet. Um, but our daughter is off school, but it's sort of a voluntary off school at the moment. But I'll do a video on thoughts about all that soon. There is already probably been a video up about that. So anyway, back to the here and now, what we've got to do. Um, cut this grass for the first time today. Well, first time this year. Um, looking around gardens and there, getting some colour in them now. Daffs are out. Um, there's some blossom on trees, not actually, can't see any around here, but there is. And you know, you think the world is, um, uh, everything's lovely. But as we all know at the moment, um, it's not. But um, the customer here isn't even in, she's in her 70s, but she isn't in here today. So obviously she ain't, isn't massively worried at the moment. But we shall see how things pan excuse me, we should see how things pan out on that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get the mower out and um, get this cut. I'm, only, I'm going to do it with, the, um, you haven't seen it yet, um, the stander mower, but actually it's got a seat on it, so to be honest, I sit down and it wipes down when you can sit on it. Um, so it's, yeah, it's one of the standard ones which have got a seat on it too. And I'll show you in a minute. And you can see it uh, working. It only mulches, well it will side shoot as well, but it's got the mulching sort of kit on it. I'm just going to mulch this. It will, not silly long, but it will leave a little bit on, on top from the first cut. I just need to get the first cuts done to get them sort of topped off. So that's what I'm doing doing this year, trying to get over them as quick as I can between other things. So we've got a couple of fences to do, which I need to go on done yesterday, which is really good because that's one off the list. Uh, next one next week, reasonably, it's just a straight run. No, nothing complicated. So that should be all right. Um, so try and get that done. There's one more of them left, and I'll get back onto proper gardening if we're, we're not um, confined um, to our homes. You can see we're we kitted out in here today. We've got the HR Honda HRX 537. I've got the pressure washer because I've got a little bit, not much, to finish off what I was doing last week. Run out of time. I've um, got the blower, combi, strimmer end up there. I've got the stander mower there. There's my HR H four wheeler. Um, up right up the front, um, ladder, other ladder, rakes, um, sort of weeding, bucket for what we need for the borders and what have you, um, and the two ramps. And yeah, we're pretty full up, but you can see this is a medium wheelbase. Um, I'll just jab my leg on the door stop thing. Oh, um, it's a Mercedes Sprint uh, medium wheelbase. You can see what you can get in it. You can, you can get the like I said, the HRH at the front, then that in here, then this at the back, also the ladders and everything. So, yes, yeah, a decent sized man, it sort of suits my needs. Only annoying thing is, because of the wheel arches, I can't get the Kubota in, the deck's too wide. This deck's a 36 inch and the Kubota it's a 48 inch, just too wide. So it'd be lovely if I could get that in, but I just can't, so. Um, it's about a couple of inches um, that I can't get it in, so yeah. Um, I have to put the trailer on for that. Which is another thing, I'm going to put tow bar on this as well, so I can, if I want, take the stander or the Astesia, because Astesia goes in here. Um, I could take that, and I can take the Kubota on a trailer behind, so I'd be sort of sorted then. If we had bigger jobs, we could, um, you know, both use a rider. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, I haven't got to buy a lot of tools this year. I've got sort of more than enough what I need. I've even got, I've got the 10 foot um, hand and ladder as well, so I've got what I need there, that's fine what I need um, and yeah I've got plenty of mowers plenty of tools really so we're, we're okay um, so yeah I'm looking this year how everything's gone on a little bit I'm looking at it as a little bit of a blip year really so whatever I get out of it all become a bit of a bonus really and that's how probably a lot of people are going to have to look at it this year because um, yeah who knows what's going to happen but you know anything I get done, he'll be a bonus. And to be honest, I'm quite focused on gardening at the moment because there's not much else to be focused on because who knows what's going to happen with holidays and anything like that. So anyway, I'll get this out while I'm keep going on and then we'll... Um, I don't know how well you can hear me. I hope you can hear me okay. There it is. Um, 
yeah, there's the seat what I told you about. And um, yeah, might as well sit on it rather than stand. You can stand on it, you can even take the seat off as well. So it's uh, added um, bonus having the seat, I think. Um, I'll just turn it off a minute. It has actually done quite a few hours. It's done 2,000 hours and 2,052 hours. So, but I think it's been pretty well looked after. Got a Kawasaki engine on, the 17 horsepower. And I think on the newer ones, they do fit the 19 horsepower on them. Um, yeah, and it's how I bought it really. All I've done to it is um, just sharpen the blade. That's all I did. It was another one where they said it all been serviced and the blades weren't sharpened, but I'm used to that now. Um, but it looks like the feel is not too old and that, and it's got the twin hydraulic, obviously the twin, twin hydraulic pumps each side to steer. And yeah, it's quite a fun little thing to use. It is, like I said, fairly narrow, 36 inch, so it's quite small. Um, but yeah, it's a, the, it does actually say somewhere there, heavy duty commercial, twin hydro pumps, twin hydro motors, cast iron spindle housing. So yeah, it's all pretty pretty good really. Uh, it's got a big old fuel tank on it. Um, it doesn't seem to be terrible on fuel. I thought it'd be worse than it is. I run the Kubota, which is a diesel, so it's cheaper to run, but this isn't too bad. Lots of height settings down there. Handbrake there, um, which is just simple because it just pushes on the tire. And then you've got your, your swivel wheels at the front. So yeah, um, I quite enjoy using it. Uh, and for some reason, whenever you start, you have to give it a choke every time. I don't know why that is. I'm not bothered. It's just what it works. So that's all right. I wanted one of these for a while, and it's come up at the at the right price. Um, I was really pleased what I got it for. Because what's, um, you know, new, it's always a lot cheaper than new. And even though I've done the hours, I think probably um, I bought it off of a, a dealer. So probably it was a trade-in from um, authorities or something, I would imagine. Um, but yeah, it's a bit the older model now. I think they I think they actually do want a sport or something. I think that's about the most similar one to this now. Um so yeah, this I think is one of the early ones. I don't know the year. I haven't got a clue where the year is. Um No, I'm not really sure. Um if I find it I'll tell you. But yeah, um I think it's been pretty well looked after. And yeah, you can just unbolt all that kabush there for um make it side discharge but I just want to use it mulch really. If I do them irregular, it should be alright. What I'll do, I'll strap you on my head and we'll get we'll get a bit of
um, we're just about down here now. Sun's a little far, so it stinks here now. Um, but it's um, uh, a bit sort of overcast today, but we got this done. That's what come up like. There's a little bit of grass on top because it sticks to the wheels, so flicks it up. But for a first cut mulch, I don't think that's too bad at all. And so next time we cut it, what, a week or two, and then it will um, gradually come nice then. So, and it was a bit damp underneath that as well. So, yeah, I don't think I come up half bad actually. So, um, yeah, well, we're going to see someone about a fence now, another fence. Uh, I think it's more of a sort of a repair job really, rather than anything else. So, we'll have to see what they want done. Um, there's some post and rail come down, but I might, what I might try and do there is um, try and um, see if they want the section put in. Because they're on about having the whole lot of place at one point, but it would make sense if they're in a row and it's come down to put the section in new and then just work new from off of there. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, I th they're quite near to here, so it's worked out well today. Um, I've just finished the pressure washing I started. Actually, I've got the lead to do still. Uh, but the pressure washing I started, um, actually it took me all last week and the week before. But that's all, all done now, so that's just a bit I finished off doing. So that's um, just a small little bit. Um, everything's back in, pressure washer's back in, the mower's back in. I've put the HRX in first this time. So I'm getting this out layer. There's a pressure washer I use. It's um, that. And it works right. Um, I have got a petrol one, which just needs a little repair on, but I hope to get that done quite soon. I had all the base sandblasted, so I wanted to look nice, and that's a big old petrol, powerful petrol one. I did put on the channel years, probably three years ago now, two or three years ago, um, and I've never really got on to sorting it um, out, but um, yeah, so yeah, we're, we're getting on okay. So yeah, I'll leave the video there. Um, I'm just about finished now, just got to pack up the last few things. And yeah, done the grass today. I finished off that pressure washing. Laura's done some weeding, I've done some stripping around the edges. So yeah, this one's uh, had its first cut, so that's another one sort of off the list. A few more, for a few more to come. Um, the next one, quite a big one. And then I've still got to go over the ones that we did last week again, because it's just, once you start, you're just revolving then until sort of October, November time or whatever. So yeah. Um, see where we are then with everything that's going on in the world so yeah thanks for watching and i'll be along with another video again soon